removed and all. So here we go, another tactics spotlight for you. Now this map is called Ashland. Now this is <laughs> it's a funny name for a map, but hey. This map I hated when I first started playing Dust many, many moons ago. I didn't like this one. But let's have a look at this and how you can maybe dominate at this particular one. First off, crews or the CIUs are absolutely essential for this map. This map is won or lost pretty much by uh, the crews, and you'll see why. We have two main crews, and they're the ones I've highlighted there. If those are the ones you want to really focus on. And you have a third crew, which is kind of to the north, um, again, or rather the south, if you look at it that way. I, I would say the crews are absolutely critical for this map, but we'll come back to that. In terms of sniper points, well, <laughs> you're pretty much blessed with them on this map. There's, uh, But the thing is, there's, there's a kind of number of high-ranged uh, gantries you can get onto, but um, there's a number that I would probably recommend that are a bit more secluded. Number one, I think, is probably your main one there. Um, you can get onto those oil cans or those oil cylinders or whatever you call them. Uh, you can also get onto the building to the south there as well or to the bottom of the picture there rather. Um, point two is risky. Ris that is actually an elevated point above point B and there's only one proper route into that. You can get through it through a kind of assault course but um, point two is risky but you actually have a bit of a high ground that's quite easily defendable so well worth consideration. Um, point four I would say is probably one of the um, obviously that's really only for the team on the the uh, the, the right of the, uh, this screen um, but it's not a bad point. You can actually get some good, good kind of advantages from there and then the same for the other team is point three. There's again another set of uh, oil cans or oil um, drums or tanks whatever you call them um, to the north there so there's a there's a fair bit of sniping but the thing with this map is you, you shouldn't rely on sniping to win this map it's not the best map for it but there are a number of elevated positions and nonetheless so where is the hot zone well there's only one in this and I would propose to you that if you want to win this map you have to continue and hold the two CIUs and then keep B, C and then extend into A when needed. If you just keep those two crews under your control you're pretty much going to win this map and I, I stand by that. I've watched this map many times, I've played with it many times and to be honest the first thing you should always try and get is both of those CIUs under your control. Um, that then gives you a base where you can basically hold B and then extend towards C and A when you need to. So you, by controlling the three you win the, the MCA, uh, MCC battle. So um, well worth considering. In terms of spawn pads, well there's a few. Um, you can have um, spawn pads where there usually are quiet space. Don't put them anywhere where it's busy. So behind D is a good one because generally not too many players kind of run around D. Um, also the, the area between E and C is pretty good because it's kind of a bit of dead land that not really many people go to. Um, also the, the land just above A or around A is also a good place to put a spawn pad um, as well. But I would say the elevated position above B is critical. If you can rush and get a spawn pad into that elevated gantry above B it's going to pay dividends in the long run so let's have a look at this particular map this is sped up footage and um, this is the closest map I think I record <laughs> the closest battle I recorded in some time so place your bets on who's gonna win um, let's look at some of the tactics so again these guys have completely bypassed the crews um, so they're not really doing I think anything <laughs> as I would have done but you can see basically now they're starting to capture the crews now the blue team have captured them both and that gives them a phenomenal advantage now they've actually got all three crews so you could say they're pretty much going to pretty much you know be able to spawn back quickly and get into the fight now the crew between a and c has been captured obviously then you know this is where the battle starts to begin um and i would i would really stress the ability to hold those crews see again it's been taken <laughs> this is a great example of what i was saying and you know i know there's some of you that disagree with me but i think the crews just seem to be um critical in um in in keeping these maps so um, as you can see C and B are basically being fought over. The, the majority of the action is taking place around B um, very little action happens in the orbits orbits around B so when you've got A, C, D and, and, and E um, they generally are rushed. Most of the activity because of the heavy spawn uh, nature of, of, of those crews around them most people will spawn there so I think you know certainly the you know I stand by my statement the crews are absolutely critical in terms of maybe vehicles and stuff you can use on this map it's not a great dropship map um, but it's not a bad tank map the ability to evade and get out of, of dodge quickly is pretty good so I'd say tanks are quite good on this map um, but because most of the time the troops are elevated you know they're, they're generally the troops are above the tank um, it does give you a bit of a risk so maybe just consider that one 
In terms of, I think, maybe some of the other things to bear in mind, sniping is, is difficult in this map. You can get on the elevated gantries that extend, um, you know, pretty much from B. You see there's those kind of two structures. Um, you can get on top of those and snipe down, but you're very exposed. Um, so I would probably say it's risky to do that. Again, you, you know, generally snipers sit around the perimeter of the map and shoot in. And in this map, I think it's not the easiest one to do that. Um, I think in terms of you know really controlling B is probably your primary control point for this one. I think if you you know if you've got the two crews and you've got B, you've got then the troops and the manpower and the spawn power to then extend and get A and C when you need them. It doesn't really matter about E and D. They can be done by lone scouts and lone wolves who want to go off and capture stuff. The majority of your forces would be well placed to stay in the B. Uh, area keeping those two crews under your control. The third crew isn't essential but if you at least let your enemy have that crew then it's pretty obvious where they're going to spawn from generally. It's not always a given but um, most people generally will spawn from you know that kind of area if they have that crew. Um, I think the, the tricky one is to keep A. A is a phenomenally difficult one to then extend out and capture because it's a very easy one to counter catch if that makes sense. Um, plus again the rush gameplay that goes on in this game means that, and you're about to see it happen now, means that because they've rushed off to capture A, they've now left the CIUs, C and now B completely exposed. And to be honest with you, even if they did have a few troops left to defend, um, they pretty much lost B. Now they're losing, obviously, the crew. Now they're probably going to lose the second crew. They're losing A. And, you know, the, the, the tide has turned. Um, they've now lost the other crew as well. So in terms of battle, clone-wise, this could go either way. And uh, Well, it certainly was going to go blue way. But I think from an MCC point of view, they've now, you know, Orange have now <laughs> captured um, more MCCs than the other team. So it's actually going to be a bit down to the wire, this one. So place your bets 13 clones versus what uh, an mcc kind of controlled node there you go all controlled it's an interesting one <laughs> i think that's kind of sums it up but again look at that the ciu's were absolutely critical in that in that switch around the ability to deny a spawn point close by where the action is really does mess up um, the blue team in this case and as you can see they've mostly fallen back so who's gonna win zero clones oh we lost look at that <laughs> so even though we got them to zero clones they beat us on the uh, MCC battle so there we go that was Ashland hope you like that we'll certainly do some more of these and see you next time